Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our quick shots. In this quick shot, we're going to show you how to enable and disable the view password on login. Let me demonstrate that first. We're going to log in, and you'll notice that on the login, we have the word password. I'm going to type my password. Notice as soon as I did that, a little I came up. If I click on that I and hold the mouse button down, you see my password. Yes, I know it's a simple password, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Let it go, back to the dots, hold it, and you see the password. Why is this important? Well, it lets you know that if you made a mistake when you can't log in, that you may have typed in your password wrong. But it is a security concern, because anyone who uses your computer besides yourself if they see you log in and they and you move away and they hit the little I, they'll be able to see your password. Not a good thing to do. Let's log in. Now, in order to change this activity, we have to use something called the Group Policy Editor. Just type on the start screen GPEDIT dot msc and the group policy editor will be displayed click on that now that will open up the group policy editor in our desktop let me rearrange the screen here a little bit and what we want to do is we want to go into computer configuration by the way when you use the group policy editor be very very careful it is a very powerful program. We want to select administrative templates, so let's expand it. Under the administrative templates, we have Windows components, of which that little I is a, a function. We want to expand that. Where is that function located? It's under the credential user interface. Click on it. Notice on the right side, do not display the password reveal button. That's what that's called. If you click on it, it will give you an explanation on the uh, left side of this pane to, as to what this does and why you, well, how you can go about disabling it. In this case, if you want to dis not display it, you have to enable this function. Sounds kind of strange, but that's the way it works. Double click on it and we get do not display password reveal button not configured we want to enable it once we enable it we want to apply it and click OK now we need to close down this box we need to shut down the desktop and we're going to test it by restarting our computer Let's go on restart. Let's log in. Asking for the password, I'm going to enter my password. But notice, I do not see that reveal button. I can't see this password. No one can see this password as it is right now. If I accidentally click that button, someone over my shoulder could see that password. This is more of a security function in a crowded office or a home where there's a lot of folks using the same computer. Let's log in. Let's go back to the group policy editor. Open it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to re put it back the way it was because that's our default setting. Again, administrative template, Windows component, credential user interface. You'll notice that when I move this box over, it says now that it is enabled, which means we have turned off the button. To turn the button back on, double-click, 
not configured apply OK close down the box we'll leave this desktop screen and we're going to restart our computer a second time and we're going to log in I'm going to put my password in and now you'll notice that I have the reveal button hold it down with my mouse button and there's my password well that completes this quick shot please visit our website at thetechnologycloset.com and while you're there hit the subscribe button to the YouTube channel until next time